quiet because it's 6 15 and everyone in my house is asleep but me um i've been up since about 4 30. i just always do that when i'm pregnant it's either that i'm hungry or i just feel like i slept hard enough i sleep harder when i'm pregnant that i'm ready to wake up or today it was heartburn which i am taking stuff for and it's been working but for some reason this morning i woke up i've been taking papaya enzymes for that but for some reason this morning still woke up with some i also crave spicy foods so that doesn't help much anyway i'm going ahead i had my breakfast i had like a little egg muffin thing egg mcmuffin type thing that i made at home um but i know Aaron needs to wake up pretty soon to go to like his first job we'll now say it's like he has two jobs now um which is fine i think at this point with a lot of people losing jobs i'm sure as heck not going to complain that my husband happens to have two right now um we can use the extra money so especially with the home birth we need to be saving up money for that anyway here's some raw sausage i thought i would just whip up some sausage patties i had some meat thawed we're gonna do tater top casserole and i thought i have enough time before um dinner to thaw out another roll i'm using ground sausage for that tater tot casserole as well i don't have any ground beef right now i have ground turkey and ground sausage because that was on what was on sale um and i just can't handle the smell of ground beef very well pregnant so normally that's what we eat the most of but anyway i thought i have enough time to thaw out um, another little pound of that so because for that i'm going to use a pound of mild and a pound of spicy for the tater tot casserole i also have a huge thing of tater tots so I thought I'm going to make some sausage patties, I'm going to air fry some tater tots, and then I'm going to make eggs. So I'm just going to make my husband's eggs right now, um, and then when my kids wake up, if they want eggs with everything, I will make them some, but there are mornings where my kids love eggs, and there are mornings where they don't want eggs at all, and I don't want to waste the eggs. So yeah, now my hands are all greasy, I need to turn off my camera, but anyway, I've just been up, um, I did my Bible reading on my phone, just using the Uversion app, and then I watched a couple of YouTube videos. No one ever has anything posted this early, really, so I watched random people. But anyway, I'm going to get this going, and then I think I'm going to read a little bit before the kids wake up. Um, but I think I'm going to wake them up a little earlier. <laughs> we're, we're kind of on Aaron's schedule, a second shift schedule right now. We all, well not me, everyone else sleeps in until, I'm not kidding, 9 or 10. Not Aaron now, because now he has to be at this other job, but till 9 or 10. And then we all stay up till 9 or 10, which is okay, but I am a morning person. I function so much better in the morning. And then once it gets, you know, to 6 or 7, I'm kind of done for the day. So since Aaron's waking up early to go to work anyway, it's kind of like he's just on an everything shift. He's a 24 hour worker almost. So I'm thinking maybe I can get us back into a little bit of a morning routine. So I have more energy, especially being pregnant. I have a lot more energy in the morning naturally. Being pregnant, I wake up so early and I'm just thinking it might be handy if the kids woke up early with me. But the only way to get them to go to sleep early enough to wake up early is to have them wake up early even when they've gone to bed late and you know by late i'm saying nine or ten anyway i gotta go wash these hands so i can turn off this camera and uh, get this breakfast going
that by having Alexa play music. Let's see if it works. won't eat dead animals so the Darwin all right everybody is finally awake my battery kept dying while I was reading to the little girls and we were enjoying our book too much for me to get up and try to switch it out my battery charger that charges all my batteries is not working the right way I charged batteries all night long and like this one that's in here now charged all night long and it says it has two bars so I don't know I plugged some more in hopefully they start working because that wouldn't be good, would it? But since everyone's awake, um, while they're waiting to feel like eating, because they're not rise and shine eaters like I am, we're just going to read our devotional. We're still working through this one. We've skipped from vacation and everything. So we're getting back into the flow of things. So that's what we're going to do now, while we wait for everyone to feel like wanting to eat. In today's reading, we swing back into the Old Testament to meet the great father of the Jewish faith, Abraham. In this story, he's still called Abram. God gives him a new name later. When we meet Abram today, God appears to him in a vision and makes some promises that seem kind of hard to believe. We can learn a lot about how we can rely on and relate to God through, the di through today's story. Let's jump in. <laughs> we finished our Bible time. The kiddos are over there being crazy and playing with Legos. I went ahead. <laughs> they said, hey, you are. You're being crazy. Um, I went ahead and got dinner all prepped up um, while I had time. That way I'm not trying to rush because I only have a little bit of time while my husband's home to get it done. So we're going to have tater tot casserole. Um, pretty self-explanatory. It will be on what's for dinner. But it's tater tots, cheese for the meat. You can use all different kinds of meat. I used ground sausage today. You can use cream of fill in the blank, cream of whatever you like. I used cream of chicken today. I add in garlic salt and we like to add either steak sauce or Worcestershire to flavor the meat. It's just really good that way. So anyway, I'm going to cover these up and it's only 9.43 so I'll pop them in the oven um, around 11.30 or 12. My big girls are still inside drawing and reading. Let's just flying through the Nancy Drew books. Um, the ones that she hasn't got to yet. Natalie's enjoying just sketching. So the little kids wanted to ride their scooters. But since my husband's going to be home before too long, I didn't want to take off for a walk because we have to make it super short that way. So I just moved my car. They can play their scooters in the driveway for a minute. It's not going to rain today. It rained the last two days. It's going to rain this evening. So I guess I'm mistaken. Here comes something big. Let's see what it is. A truck. Semi truck, which is weird. Don't have a lot of semi trucks down here. This battery is dying. Anyway, I'm going to sit outside, keep reading the book I'm reading, drink my protein shake, um, and just watch the kiddos play, listen to the birds chirp until my husband comes home and we have lunch for dinner. Alright, I replaced my battery. I think this time it's finally charging. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I just wanted to say the little clip you saw of me kind of cleaning out the cabinet. I'm just slowly taking it upon myself to do parts of my cabinets or like a cabinet at a time. Just cleaning it really well. Um, you know, seeing what food is in there and just giving it a good wipe down. It's been a good couple of months since I've wiped down like the inside, the shelves, pulled everything out, stuff like that. So. I don't know, I just feel like doing it, getting it done. So I started with that tall pantry, and then I'll move over to all my other kitchen cabinets. But that's what I was doing. We now have Violet out here. Oh, and this neighbor who has this giant Malamute that has two kinds of wolves in it also. So that's fun. Say beep beep. I will. <laughs> 
Oh, and there's Ginger Kitty. The it's the dog, I know. He's so soft. Yeah. yeah. It's your lightsaber? Yeah. They have some down there, too. They made with some of those cool blocks we found at Goodwill one day. Are you playing Star Wars? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. And also, I need a finger. Oh, one of the other. That's here. Those are the lightsabers Liam made. Yeah, that's cool. It's on top of here and sit on it. Yeah, your bangs, girlfriend. Do all the bees take it? Mm -hmm. Different bees come and they get the pollen out of there. They take it back to their beehive and they make honey. I see it that's why bees have sticky legs so that the yellow pollen sticks to them. No, you don't want to taste it, but you can smell it. Okay. It wouldn't taste like honey anyway. Okay. Mm. Smell good? Does it smell good? It smells like fresh ear. It smells like fresh ear? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright, Ari's going to help me make the salad. Dump that in. This is cranberry, or kale pecan, cranberry chopped salad from Walmart. Potato chopped casseroles are done. Reheating the green beans. That has um, pecans and cranberries in it. Dump it in. Yum. Now we gotta stir it up. Now what was in here? Now what was in here? Oh, like, I don't know. Let's see. Croutons, I guess. Chopped up croutons. Alright, can you stir it up? I'll show them. I'm reheating the green beans because they were done earlier and these are all toasty brown ready to go. We were gonna go ride our scooters. Oh, and Liam saw this earthworm. Oh, it's fat. Violet was gonna pick it up and put it back in the dirt. Can you get it? There you go. That's good. Just stick it there. That is a long earthworm, Violet. Good job. Save the day. Aria has changed her clothes a thousand times and she's now in pajamas. That's just life. Stay on the side. There's a car coming. By the, over here. Yep, thank you. They wanted to ride back to the high school parking lot again. Ray's gonna blow a wish, she says. <laughs> Alright, we're here. I think they enjoy the freedom of not worrying about cars and going whichever direction they want to go. I know they've been pretending, you know, how you do in your little, this is the street. And the different parking places or different buildings are going. And Ari and Violet are getting lots of good practice on the scooter. Luna's getting some good outside time. It's a little windy, but it feels nice. It was 48 yesterday, it's 72 today. Supposed to get some storms tonight. Or you wanted me to film her go up and down. So you get a little bit of a repeat from yesterday. Oh yeah, I'm watching. They're on a mountain. Ah! <laughs> I can't decide if I should trim her bangs or try to let them grow out. They grow straight down. That's why she always has bangs. I like to be able to see her big brown eyes. And plus, hair in the face drives me nuts. They found a treasure. A balloon. <laughs> there you go. We'll never lose you now. walk we're all very tired or not tired hot <laughs> it's very humid outside from just all the moisture of the rain and, and the coolness now being hot like yeah it's been cool so anyway we're gonna sit while everyone's super just uh, from the heat and kind of tired from the walk and read out of our mr. poppers it's been our bedtime book but we're enjoying it so we're just gonna sit and read some of that now while everyone feels like sitting I thought it'd be a good time to do some reading 
the three littles are outside. I'm cleaning the kitchen. These girls are working in their, I don't know, real world math or something. Yes. Yeah, real world math. They really, do y'all enjoy those? Yeah. Yeah. I just let them pick a page or however many pages. I don't control it. And then they do what they want to do. It's real world math that we don't learn stuff you don't need to know. <laughs> yes, that's true. And it's helpful. Yep. These two are now, they have moved from math to music. Music is math. Y'all are just math champions. <laughs> Got anything to show us? Ready, set, <laughs> Do you always play it on the acoustic? No, I play on the guitar. I thought I've never, so. I've never on the played electric. It. I've never played the song on the guitar. Well, that still sounded good. Yeah, I like it. But the string broke. Well, that's a pretty girl. He also said that. Well, I like it. It's a little puddle on it. Very cool. All right, you guys. We're back outside. We've been outside for probably an hour now. Um, me and the littles, the girls just recently, the big girls just recently came out. I've been reading, they've been playing, um, just we're all talking together. This coronavirus thing has led to lots of good discussions um, of viruses and how they spread and just government type discussions also. So we've had a lot of talking, it's also starting to be tornado season here. So we got lots of good talking about that. We have lots of honeybees over here on our bush. Lots of good research on the porch about honeybees and bumblebees and wasps that look like bees and another type of bee. I already forgot, my kids could probably tell you. So I feel like we have done our science and uh, social studies lessons here on the porch, government lessons, all that stuff. Um, and I planned so many more things for this day. I planned games and some notebooking ideas I had for this day, but sometimes the day goes a different direction and that's okay. We are enjoying this day that does not have rain. They are walking down a muddy, muddy trail in the yard. That's what they're doing, pretending it's a red carpet. So I see bats in our future. But anyway, it's almost dark here. It's about 7.40 and I think, or I thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and say bye to you lovely YouTube people because we're gonna stay out here till it's dark. Then we're gonna go inside, get cleaned up. We'll probably read a little bit more of Mr. Popper's Penguins. We had much. I think we only read about 20 pages earlier and the kids were just ready to go back outside. So we'll read some more after we get cleaned up. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be our day. I did have one little bit of information. My husband at his work, he has two people who work there, one on his shift, one on a different shift that are now um, at home, but in quarantine, like forced quarantine, not like suggested like we are, because their mother, who they just saw, tested positive for the coronavirus. So those two people from his work are now at home um, and then I also have a friend who believes she has it. Um, she's not going in. A lot of people here who think they have it, I don't know if this is like that in your state, but in Oklahoma, or at least in my area, people going in with the symptoms are told to just go home, stay home, hydrate, and rest. Um, and we're being told that if you think you have symptoms, just to call um, your doctor, or there's a special hotline you can call. And so no one's, they're not really even testing anybody or doing anything so I'm not sure what's going on I know some people in my state and there's like 10 confirmed cases so they are testing some people um, maybe it's the high-risk people that are being tested I'm not sure I'm not sure maybe you know and you can tell me but I was gonna say if you're a praying person you can just say some prayers because I know one of those people worked on my husband's shift um, and he was around you know the person he worked with and that person was around someone who had it so that's kind of freaky. I'm not more scared, like I've said, than the flu or anything else. But of course, who wants to be sick? No one wants to be sick. Um, and me being pregnant, I would be in the high risk group. And I don't want to be having fevers with baby and all that stuff. So I'm not too stressed. I've had some moments of anxiety. Um, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know, I've been dealing with that a little bit this pregnancy anyway. That's not helping. And now it's storm season. That's not helping. But 
keeping my cool. We've had a good relaxed day. I had a really good nap. We've had a lot of outside times, a lot of mud, building up those immune systems, right? <laughs> and all that good stuff. Luckily, the tornadoes here, well, luckily for us, um, are not going to be in our town today, but we are going to have, I can watch the clouds moving in, we are going to have really strong winds, hail, rain, all that stuff. Um, and like I said, I have kiddos who don't do too well with that sometimes, but I think we'll be okay. Um, they do better if I show them the information, if I let them see the news um, and pictures that the news puts on Facebook or videos. When we do have tornadoes coming our way, if I keep the news on where they can see where the tornadoes are, that helps their anxiety about the storms a lot. So we talked about tornadoes and stuff here on the porch. I showed them a picture of the outline of what's supposed to happen, and so they're doing okay. Wow, they are. I'll show you. Can you see? Like they're practicing to be baseball players here. Just sliding in the mud. Just sliding in the mud. Na they're, yeah, they're saying it's a red carpet. Natalie's wearing brand new shorts. So. <laughs> Aria in her pants. She's wearing Violet's pants and Liam's shirt. She's a hoot. She doesn't like to stay in the same... I was way zoomed into my face. <laughs> the same outfit ever. She changes all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna sit out here and probably chit chat with Lissa and it's about to be dark. We'll go in and do all the things I already told you we would do. I hope y'all are having a good day, staying safe, all those things. All of us will keep each other in each other's prayers and we'll be on the other side of this before we know it. If you were wondering about yesterday's vlog, no, I never got milk. I went to place an order on Fire Lake and it, that was on Tuesday, right? Yesterday was Tuesday. My order wouldn't be ready until Friday. And I just thought there's a chance what I'm ordering will be out of stock. Now my camera won't focus on Friday. So I think I'm just gonna wait. Oh, so I'm gonna do a different day. Anyway, we'll be okay till then. Y'all have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.